What is going on guys, I'm Adriano and this video is a walkthrough on how to create a date as a string column in pandas when your columns are currently stored as an integer. So as you can see here, I'm already in my Jupyter Notebook and I've already imported the pandas library. And I've went ahead already to create my pandas data frame. And as you can see here, I have my date, which is an integer. I have my month, which is an integer and my year is an integer. And just to confirm my columns are integers, we're going to do data frame dot D types and give that a print. And as you can see that all three columns are integers right now. So because I'm going to be converting this to a year month day string, which follows the ISO 8601 standard in pandas, I can't simply just concatenate all these three columns together. Because as you see here, my day column is missing zeros from one to nine as an integer. So we're going to first go ahead and add that. So we're first going to create the logic to handle that. So my next line here, I'm just going to do data frame dot day dot as type. So this will convert my column from an integer to a string. But then we're going to use the string method and use the z dot fill to ensure that we add that zero pad. So what's nice is pandas has a method to already handle this, which makes it really simple. So I'm just going to add two because I want to make sure that there's two digits for my string. Now, if we give that a print, what you can see here is our output is actually giving us a zero in front of it and it is not adding a zero after 10. So this is perfect. This is exactly what we want here. So now that we know our logic is good, we're going to now be able to simply concatenate all of these day, month, year columns together to create that year, month, date string. So I'm going to go ahead here and create a new column, which will have my output. So I'm just going to do data frame dot and now the name of my new column, which is cow month. And this is going to be equal to df dot year dot as type string. Now I'm just going to add another dash. Now for the month, so that's data frame dot dot month dot as type as string now we're going to add another dash as well and finally that year column so i'm just going to use that code here and i'm going to paste it and just notice i made a small mistake here is it should just be data frame with that column all right now i'm just going to run that now if we print the head with df head what are we going to see here? We now have our new column has been added and it's been formatted to that ISO 8601 standard. Now, if you don't believe that this is a string, well, we're just going to check that out to make sure I'm not lying to you. So then we're going to run df.dtypes and hit enter. And as you see, that's an object, which is a string in pandas. So there you go, we've successfully taken our day, month, year columns that are currently as integers and converted as a string that has our new date. So I hope this walkthrough was helpful and if you learned something, please like this video and please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to learn more about data integration. Thanks for watching and see you next time.